Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fight or Flight. For those of you who have seen my previous videos, you'll have noticed that one of my favourite add-ons is FS2 Crew Voice Control. What you're looking at right now is the highly anticipated and completely revamped FS2 Crew NGX Reboot. As a short disclaimer, keep in mind that this is a beta version of NGX Reboot and as always the final version is subject to change. There are a number of differences over the previous version, far too many to include in this video, but I wanted to go over the main features and give you an idea of how Reboot perfectly complements the NGX. Upon opening the main panel, the obvious difference is the updated UI. It's a lot cleaner and more streamlined than before, and a lot nicer to use as a result. On the main panel are the headset toggle, hard mute and window lock. Clicking on the secondary button brings up an additional panel. The briefings, pre-flight events and options have all been moved to this panel designed to mimic the 737's CDU. If you're wondering where the panel lighting switch has gone, panel lighting is now controllable via the NGX's own panel lighting control. Increasing it beyond halfway switches the panel lighting on, and vice versa. Just one of the many nice little touches of the new version. Clicking Config then Setup gets you to the options for Reboot's biggest feature, selectable SOPs. While the previous version was limited to one SOP based on Boeing's standard operating procedure, we now have a total of three SOPs used by real-world airlines that all involve varying degrees of responsibility between the captain and first officer in operating the aircraft. FS to crew have worked closely with real-world 737 pilots to make the SOPs as realistic as possible, resulting in a much more immersive and interactive experience. Each of the three SOPs comes with its own PDF tutorial detailing a full step-by-step -step flight. Similar to the FS2 Crew 777 add-on, button control and voice control are available at any time, though it is worth noting that button control is limited to SOP2 only. To switch to button control, click the corresponding LSK and wait for the mode to change. To switch back to audio control, right click the LSK to unlock the mode and left click again to change the mode. The other options for callouts and miscellaneous are all outlined in the documentation and it's highly recommended that you read through the main manual and tutorials at least once. NGX Reboot contains four different accent packs, US, UK, European and Australian. Each of the FO voice actors recorded over 600 words and phrases to cover all three SOPs and the captains alone recorded over 200. NGX Emergency is due to be released later on as a free update for Reboot. Out of the three SOPs, SOP3 is my personal favourite. It's based on an Irish low-cost airline and the captain is very much in control, with the FO taking on more of a supervisor role when compared to the other SOPs. I won't be taking you through a full flight this time, but instead I'll take you through a typical startup and takeoff using SOP1, and a typical landing with SOP3, as these are the ones I've spent the most time with. So, let's get back on the ground and get started. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal. Auto. Window heat. On. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Flight instruments. Heading 352. Altimeters 3017. Heading 352. Altimeter 3017. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Pre-flight checklist complete. Before start procedure. Okay.
Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door closed and locked. MCP. V2 136. Heading 263. Altitude 4900. Takeoff speeds. V1 130. VR 132. V2 136. CDU preflight. Completed. Rudder and aileron trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Anti collision light on. Before start checklist complete. Start sequence is two, then one. Check. Start engine two. Starting two. Starter cutout. Start engine one. Starting one. We now request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt. Insert the flat metal clip to the buckle and pull on the loosened strap to tighten it up. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience turbulence. There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. Two forward, two aft, and two over each wing. Please take a moment to look at the exit. In some cases, the exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor-level lighting will guide you toward the exit. Doors can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the arrow. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide, which may also be attached and used as a life raft. Oxygen and air pressures are always being monitored. In the event of an empty compression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth and secure the elastic band behind your head. Start to cut out. Normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist that other person. Keep your mask on until an uniformed crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward Flaps with your hands on top of your head and your elbows Flaps against five. your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. A light vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. When instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove Flip it over your head. Press Flight controls check. Ready. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord only when leaving the aircraft. If you need to full left, the vest, blow into the Use the whistle full light right. to attract attention. Center. Also, your seat check. bottom cushion can be used as a full up. device. Pull the cushion from the seat, flip your arms to the down. and hug the cushion to your chest. Center. Check. We remind you that this is a non-smoking device. Full flight. left. Full right. You will find Center. All other check. Information in the car Flight controls the check complete. You. We strongly suggest you read it before takeoff. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We wish you an all an enjoyable flight. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators on. Probe eight on. Anti ice off. Isolation valve auto. Engine start switches continuous. Recall. Checked. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start levers. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Clear on the left. Clear right.
Another new feature supported in NGX Reboot is single engine taxiing, which is typically performed in the real world to conserve fuel. Admittedly the taxi at Denver isn't too long, but I'll go ahead and show you how it's done. Just make sure you don't forget to restart the engine before takeoff. Shut down number two engine. Engine start lever number two, confirm. Confirmed. Cut off. Flight dead. Okay, thanks. Captain, the cabin is secure. At this point, your Boeing FCOM is handy to have around. As the APU is off, we'll need to perform a cross-bleed engine start. We'll increase the throttle on engine 1 until the duct pressure indicates 30. Then we can ask our virtual FO to take care of the engine. Start engine 2, cross bleed start. Starting right. Starter cut out. With both engines started, we can reduce both throttles, release the parking brake, and get ready to go. Runway entry procedure, clear left. Checked. Clear right. Cabin crew, take your seats. Ready to go. Take off. Check. N1, Toga. Check. Thrust set. Eighty knots. Gear up. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps up. Flaps up. Select Command A. After takeoff checklist, stand by. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds. On. Packs. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps. Up. No lights. After 
takeoff check is complete. 10,000. As we leave Denver behind, it's time to focus on a landing in SOP3 at Liverpool John Lennon Airport. I've changed the accent pack to EU, but don't forget that all the accent packs can be used in all three of the SOPs. Flaps 1 Speed checked Flaps 1 Runway lights. Flaps five. Speed checked. Flaps five. Cabin crew, seats for landing. Cabin is seated. Gear down, flaps 15. Speed checked, flaps 15. Set VREF plus 10. Set. Landing checklist of flaps. Engine start switches. Continuous. Recall. Checked. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down three green. Auto brake. Two set. Holding at flaps. Flaps 30. Speed checked. Flaps 30. Complete the checklist. Flaps 30, 30 green light. Holding at landing lights. On. Too landing high, checklist complete. Visual. Check. Reset barrows. Check. Speed brake up. Reverses normal. 
100 knots. 80 knots. 60 knots. Manual braking. Auto brake disarmed. Check. Okay to clean up. Check. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our destination. Please remain seated with your seat on Boston until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. The captain has switched off the seat both times and the main passenger door has been opened. Before leaving us, please remember to collect all your personal belongings by checking the overhead locker and the seat pockets in front of you. Master caution, anti-ice associated. Checked. Smoking is not permitted until you leave the terminal building, and you are also reminded that smoking is illegal on the ramp. Before your next flight with us, have a look at the website where you will find the best deals on flight, car hire, hotels and travel insurance. Once again, thank you for flying with us today. It has been our pleasure to have you on board, and we look forward to welcoming you aboard another one of our services in the very near future. I hope this short preview of FS2 Crew NGX Reboot has given you an idea of some of the new features. The previous version had very little to improve upon, but Reboot takes it to a much higher level. The audio quality and UI have both been vastly improved, and the challenge of mastering all three SOPs is something I'm very much looking forward to. We didn't even look at multi-leg flight support, but I firmly believe that part of the experience is discovering those things for yourself. Built-in button control and a future-free update containing the emergency features are really nice additions to have, and the many little touches throughout show the amount of effort and attention to detail that the developer has put into it. Expect to see much more NGX reboot in future episodes of Fight or Flight, as I honestly can't fly without it. Until then, be sure to subscribe, take care, and goodbye.